Awesome. So, welcome, 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 guys, back to another episode of the Comic With Chat Show. I'm your host with the most informative news, Lamoy McLean. And I know you guys love coming here to talk with me. And today we just have a fun pack episode for you guys, right? So, on this week's episode, we have none other than Mr. D, the marketing expert. Yes, I'm so excited for this one and I just can't wait for you guys to just get an insight on D and see who he is. Who he is. So, D, are you there online with us? I'm here, I'm here. Awesome, I'm awesome stuff. Yeah. So, just let the people know where you're actually calling us from today. I'm in the East Coast, right there with New York at. East and I want you to pray for us because we in a flood storm right now. I ain't mm-hmm. got over 100 alerts on my phone. So mm-hmm. pray for the whole city and the state. Wow. All right. So my prayer goes out to you guys over there in the East Coast, New York. And I hope the guys Thank that are you. listening to us, you're welcome. And I hope the people that are out there listening to you today and listening to myself can also mm-hmm. send up their prayers. All right, Mr. D. Let's just jump right yeah. into today's program. So tell... Jump in it. Yep. Tell the people out there who you really are and what it is that you do. Well, you know, I'm a marketing promoter. Mm -hmm. I started out as a marketing promoter at a young age in the year of 2001. So I'm not that old. (laughs) but I worked for a lot of platinum, diamond, hip-hop artists, legends, as y'all know today. Mm -hmm. And I also did marketing in the movie Hollywood soundtrack too. But what y'all want to know, let me know. Yeah, we just want to hit you up and just flex with our boy D for a little bit of time. You know, we ain't got too long, but we know you got some massive things that can leave an imprint on people. So um, just yeah. just um, tell us a little bit about, you know, the business and stuff. And... Well, you know, the business, I'm just blessed, thankful, and few of us are still alive that when we started out, we never knew social media was going to be this big, but we did know the internet was coming because I came from the era of the Motorola two-way pages, the Blackberry, yes. <laughs> and the Razor flip phone. Yeah. So, so that was the internet for us. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, we knew that the internet was coming and it can change the game because I worked for a major marketing company. I want to give a shout out to that major marketing company too. Yeah, go ahead. And that's how I started off. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool though. I'm having fun. Awesome. All right, D. Um, so I want to just ask you now, how, how, you know, how do you feel about, um, Jamaica? Especially because you know I'm up here, I'm down here in Jamaica, and you're over there in in the East Coast. So, just tell the people them a little bit about how you feel, you know, interacting with with international business and international market, working on an international marketing platform. Well, you know, gotta be opportunities out here. Mm-hmm. Every opportunity counts, you no know, matter how far you are, because it's people with talents, people that got stuff going on gotta support the independent people out there because we do work the hardest out here mm-hmm. and international you know it's a passport but it's worth it you know i'm yeah. willing to learn and work with all kinds of people no matter how far you are mm-hmm. if you got unconditional love for me i got unconditional love for you mm-hmm. definitely so, um go ahead and i want to see the whole jamaica too you know it's so beautiful i hear about it Awesome. <laughs> and the island is just waiting to accept you, D. I mean, come on. Everybody and anybody who knows about Jamaica knows that they should come here and enjoy our beautiful beaches and just our wonderful, vibe, vibrant people. You know, Jamaica is just here and waiting for you. Now, on that note, I would also want to say to you that, you know, people are also asking a lot of questions about, you know, um fake accounts on the on, on social media whether it be instagram you know facebook people are just seeing stuff out there and they're just coming at me crazy because they're your fans and they know that we are actually working together so just elaborate a little bit on those fake <laughs> accounts for me please uh, well 
know, you know, sometimes I don't be knowing I have fans to, to I really know. Because I know people respect my work I do. The marketing I do is really like super nova level. Mm-hmm. You know, but I don't do stuff for fame or none of that to let people know. I just really put my whole heart into stuff I do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a lot of fake accounts out here. I'm only, I'm not actually online. But if you do see me in pictures on like major rappers, that's because I worked with them. Yeah. But y'all can hit me on my email at dintelligent at gmail.com. It's D E E and the word intelligent. Mm-hmm. But I do know about all the fake accounts. I even hit up somebody that was having me in the picture to act like it was me. And they blocked me. Wow. <laughs> so if you gonna be me, you're gonna block me. You see what's out here, you know, so yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. It's all love though. I do understand that some people that also do that it's love, you know. They support me a lot, so I have to accept that too. So I had I had a question that I think it would be relevant to put across because as a business associate, you know, coming to work with somebody who is in Jamaica, um, people are going to want to ask, how is it that you can trust this person even after hearing so much things about Jamaica? Because people tend to not shine the positive light on Jamaica and Jamaican people. They're always all about the negative. I mean, negative happens everywhere in the world, that, but that doesn't make Jamaica a less place. So, I just want to ask you to just let them know why you would consider even doing business in Jamaica any at all. Well, first of all, I'm going to say, free the rapper out there, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give a shout out to that person. But, you know, I think people that always have something to say about a country, it's not really visiting the country. If you actually go to the country, it would be beautiful blessing and people mm-hmm. you know so i don't really get caught up in shenanigans you know uh if i don't see it with my own eyes and plus it's people like that everywhere it's not just a country it's every country like that it got good people you got bad people you know but as long as you who you are and you deal with the good people mm-hmm. good energy that's what i promote i promote good energy so i feel like jamaica got good energy yeah. No matter what people say, you know, so they love me, I love them, you yeah. know. Yeah, and which is definitely right. You know, what whatever energy you get from someone, you have to just work with that person because as I always say, if somebody's passionate about something, especially in the same light that you are passionate about, I mean that is somebody that you can actually invest and work with. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm awesome. All right, so we hit the fake accounts, but now I have some really, really, really not so exciting news. I'm just laughing about it because persons are coming at me and they're Uh asking Uh Uh me about Mr. D's death. Apparently, they're trying to tell me that the person that I have been communicating with over the past year or more is not the person that is actually... (laughs) Um, alive now because they're saying that you died. Anything you wow. want to say on that? Well, well, you know, I just went from fake accounts to death. Wow. Nah. I don't know how people want me to take a night night, but I am alive. This is 2019. <laughs> you know, I, I just don't know why. It's, it's the first time I heard that. You know, it's crazy, but mm-hmm. you know, I wonder why. Like, you know, I don't, I don't understand why they would do that, but I'm alive. <laughs> you tell me. Someone took the time out to say, we are sad to announce the death of our beloved son. And they also said mm. that you were born on June 2nd and died on June wow. 26th. And the funeral home is Peter Funeral Home. Now, this sounds like somebody's yard. <laughs> so wow. your your body is buried in a church in, at somebody's, somebody's house. I'd like to find Peter's funeral homes. Hmm? Wow, I mean, you know, <laughs> wow, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> but what to say to that one is, people got a lot of creativities and illusions in their mind, you know, mm-hmm. I think if they really use it the right way, they mm-hmm. can profit off of it, <laughs> you know, but, wow, the imagination. That, that's crazy, take time. It's the imagination. Yeah. Um, I quickly want to want to want to add something to that because I mean because you, the, they're they're fans and we do respect and love the fans. You know, we always if it wasn't for them, then we wouldn't have definitely got where we are today. So 
there is this one particular fan who shares and circulate a video that we did, you know, introducing you into my business since last year and bringing you on as a partner. But there are persons who are actually out there sharing that video and say, oh, that girl is an Asian. Oh, she's she's from other countries. So have you heard anything on that line about that video? <laughs> Any, 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 yeah, any? Well, yeah, you know, a few people emailed me about it. Mm -hmm. I checked it out, you know, but I don't really take anything serious. It's not good energy. Mm -hmm. You gotta be about good energy, you know. Because if it ain't no good energy, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I can take negative energy and turn it mm -hmm. to good energy. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. But I really don't wanna hear negative when it's not true. Yeah. You know. And it's the truth. So, but a lot of people did hit me up, hit me up about the video. And it's good people out here that support the mm -hmm. video. You know, some people understand good energy, so. Yeah. And they definitely do, you know, because there's especially this one young lady who lives in Canada. She's always hitting me up, you know, always letting me know that, listen, um, it's working out. And I like you guys working together and stuff like that. So people actually come you know and people actually have something good to say in regards to what's going on you know mm -hmm. so yeah. and, and and i have to say respect and big up to them people there because those are the persons who know how you know what it means to hustle and what it means to 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 raise yourself up you know and build your identity and that is what you do in marketing right yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so you wanna you wanna just share just maybe one or a few persons who you have worked with before? Well, um, I guess anybody want me to talk about the uh, recipes to Leah, you know. Mm hmm Yeah, I worked for Leah last album. The last album I have not worked on anything else. People email me all the time about R. Kelly stories. I have nothing to do with that. Remind you that they're older than me. You know, yeah. so I worked for our last album with a major marketing company, MT. Mm -hmm. We actually was the last ones with her when she was in the East Coast, for people that don't know that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and actually, somebody has a video of that. I'm still trying to get it. When I get it, I'm trying to uh -huh. get it close. But it's a video of me and the team and she's around doing an in-store, signing autographs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know. And I work for several other people too. Like the marketing company I work for is one of the best. So I want to give a shout out to them. You know, at that time before the internet, like we had over a hundred artists at one point. Mm -hmm. Hundred. You yeah. Know? You know, and back in them time, we were like the internet. You know, we was connected to the record label, and we bring everything to the events. We plug the clubs, we plug the tours, the shows, the radio. We was doing it all. Mm -hmm. And it's like what the internet was doing, we was doing before. Yeah. You know. And real ones out there, they're still doing it. Like, I'm doing it from before and now. They understand what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, D. It was so amazing, you know, just having you with us today. But before I go, I want to ask you, is there anything... Is there anything that you would want to say before we go today? You know, it was amazing having you here and I just enjoyed the conversation and getting to know what the marketing business was all about back then. And, you know, letting the people them know that you are actually still here today. So just give them a big shout out. We have like one minute. Yeah, I'm alive. You're alive. And we thank yeah, God for that. Shout. Yeah, I'm alive. Yeah, you know, I just want people to... Uh, Believe in your dreams. That's the thing. Like, be an opportunist. Mm -hmm. Go for your dreams. Do not let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody deny you. And don't let nobody play you. Like, just keep going for yours. Because if you give up, that's you. Nobody can make you give up so for yourself. Mm -hmm. And there's times that you probably would lose a lot. But this game is winning while losing. You know, you're going to win and lose. You just got to stay in it. Consistent. Focus. You know, and I'm just thankful for me to be here for a while like if people don't understand i've been doing this before social media you know and the real ones is really older that support me like older than me you know and some young ones coming around knowing me from the past too which mm -hmm. is cool. 
but I'm just happy to be here to know the future and the past. Mm-hmm. It's cool. All right. Any yeah. quick, any quick big ups to anybody in particular? You know, I'm gonna give a shout out to me. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Just wanna give a shout out to everybody supporting me, everybody in my circle, my family, my friends. I don't wanna drop no names, mm-hmm. <laughs> but. And people that's probably going to meet me today, tomorrow, you know, I'm a real friendly, cool person, as long as you're not crazy. <laughs> yeah. But let's not get it. Let, let's not even get into crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. So, D was so amazing having you here today. And I hope to, we will have a follow-up interview with you. You know, thanks for letting the guys know that you are alive and kicking and well. Yeah, I am not dead. And healthy. <laughs> You're just going through the floods over there. And thank you so much mm-hmm. for passing through and being here with us on the Comic With Chat show. Bye, people. I'm your girl, yeah, Lamoy. You. See you next time. Yeah.